Hello Primary 6, how are you today? I'm Sarah, I'm teaching science and today we're gonna talk about microscope. This is the microscope primary 6. Microscope was invented in the 17th century. And in 1665, a scientist called Robert Hooke used his own microscope to observe tiny particles that he named later with cells. So Robert Hooke used his own microscope to observe or to see the tiny particles and he named those particles with cells. This is the shape of microscope primary 6. Each part of the microscope has a name. The first part that we have here, this part is called tube, called tube. And this part here is called eyepiece. We use the eyepiece to look through it to see what is under the microscope. And we have here primary 6. This part is called arm, called arm. We hold the microscope from this part, so we call this part arm. And this plaque part is called stage. This is the place where you put the slide on, stage. And this silver part is called stage clip. Stage clip. We use a stage clip to fix the slide on the stage. And those are the objective lenses primary six. The objective lenses. We have here low power and high power objective lenses. And we have here primary six. This is the coarse focus. And we have here the fine, this part is called fine focus. So we use coarse focus and fine focus. We move them or rotate them to see a clear image of the slide. We put it on the stage. This part, primary six, is called mirror or illuminator. And this part, the last one, is called base. How to use the microscope primary six to see cells under the microscope like Rupert Hooke? To see a cell under microscope we need to prepare a slide we need to prepare a slide but how to prepare a slide an example a plant cell how to prepare a slide of plant cell to prepare a slide of plant cell we need to have onion as a plant we need to have forceps and we need to have a dropper and also we need to have a glass slide and cover slip this is the glass slide and this part is the cover slip after we have all those we should prepare the slide primary six how to prepare the slide first the step is to have one piece of onion to have one piece of onion and we use the forceps to take this part the thin membrane of the onion so the first step is to use the forceps to separate or to take the thin membrane of the one piece of onion after we took this thin membrane primary six we put it on the slide we put it on the slide as you can see here then we use the dropper to put one drop of water so the second step of primary six is to put this thin membrane on the glass slide then we put one drop of water using the dropper this part or this part of this picture is called dropper so add a drop of water on the thin membrane using the dropper after we put the drop of water on the thin membrane primary six we cover it with the cover slip this is the glass slide and this is the cover slip primary six after we prepare the slide this is the prepared slide we will put on the stage to see by using the microscope so the fourth step is to cover the slide with the slide cover slip primary six as you can see here this is the slide cover slip and this is the slide then observe by using the microscope so we prepare this slide and we need to use the microscope to see the slide but how to use this microscope to use this microscope primary six you should Put the slide on the stage. This black part is called the stage. So the first step to use the microscope is to put the slide on the stage. Then fix it with the stage clip. This part is called the stage clip. So we use the stage clip to fix the slide to prevent this slide from moving. So the first step to use the microscope is to put the slide on the stage and fix it with the stage clip. After we fix the slide on the stage by using the stage clip we start to use the suitable objective lens suitable objective lens as you can see here the scientist used the suitable objective lens and after he used the suitable objective lens he looked through the eyepiece so after fixing the slide choose the suitable objective lens we have here different 
objective lenses primary six we have here low and high power objective lenses so after fixing the slide choose the suitable objective lenses then look through the eyepiece after you look through the eyepiece primary six start to move or to rotate the coarse focus and the fine focus those are the coarse focus and the fine focus to see the clear image of the perfect image of the onion sample on the slide so rotate the coarse focus and the fine focus to see the clear image of the onion sample on the slide what will you see primary six if you use the low power objective lens if you use the low power objective lens this is the image that you will see primary six cells in a small size cells in a small size so when you examine the sample using the low power objective lens you will see the cells in the small size but if you use the high power objective lens if you use the high power objective lens you will see the cells in a bigger size you will see the cells in a bigger size so we have high power objective lens and we have low power objective lens if you use the low power objective lens you will see the cells in small size but if you use the high power objective lens you will see the cells in bigger size so when you examine the sample using the high power objective lens you will see the cells in a bigger size this was our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Goodbye.